you ain't sneezing, you ain't sneezing. Y'all, I definitely meant it's your girl Kiara Lachey, and this is episode one of Cooking with Key. This is my first video of this series. But this is about this is something I'm about to start doing. This is basically gonna be me cooking different meals and stuff. So today I'm about to make some salmon, asparagus, and some um loaded potatoes. I actually like to cook, and this is just something I want to share with y'all. I want to share this side of me with y'all. I just ran to the store and got all that I need, so let me show y'all. So this is the salmon I got. Then I got these jumbo bacon potatoes. I'm trying to like stop eating junk food. So this time I did not buy me no, like usually I buy me some chips. I did not buy me no chips, proud of me. And then I got some shrimp. And then I got three different types of cheese. Well, not really three different types. I got Fiesta Van and Kobe Jack. I just got two of Kobe Jack. Cheese, I don't really care for melting cheese, but I knew we had some, so I didn't have to buy no more. And I also got butter. Oh. I also got lemon butter. And this is the asparagus. So before we start doing anything, we are about to soak our potatoes. I'm also going to soak the salmon as well. Only reason I soak the salmon is because when I'm cutting off the back end, it just make it easier to do that. And I also need to soak my shrimp. Yeah. Then I'm gonna wash my hands because cross contamination is real. And then we go through the shrimp. <laughs> I just finished washing the dishes. Um, I'm about to clean the potatoes, get the stove ready, get the oven ready, and put them in. Then I'm gonna cut the ends and then do the shrimp. The shrimp is gonna really be the last thing I make. Shrimp don't take that long to make, and I don't want no cold shrimp on top of my food. Real quick, we're gonna get the oven ready, and we're going to bake the oven to 420. So we're gonna take the potatoes, I'm gonna rinse them, put them in aluminum foil, wrap them. I don't just use the plain cutting board. I always put aluminum foil on top. Okay, y'all, so the stove just beat. I'm about to put the potatoes in for 30 minutes. And then for the seasoning I use, I use Creole seasoning. I use paprika for coloring, um, seasoning salt. And I'm looking for another one, but I can't find it. It's like all-purpose seasoning salt, and I love that seasoning. I found it. You ain't sneezing, you ain't seasoning. But before we start cooking, I am going to wrap the salmon up just so it can marinate a little bit. I'm gonna start prepping the shrimp. So While I wait, I'm gonna wash the dishes. Clean as you go, make it easier in the end. Okay, we got 14 minutes left, but I'm about to start cooking the salmon now. I'm about to wash my hands again because I've been touching the remote. And then we're gonna start. Mm. 
Okay, and now I'm about to get my asparagus ready because when I finish the shrimp, I'm going to do the asparagus. Oh, Okay, it's like 13 minutes left on the potatoes, so I'm about to start the shrimp. Okay, I added 15 more minutes on the potatoes just while everything else finished cooking. It was like still was real hard. So the shrimp still cooking, the asparagus is done, the salmon done, everything was done. The shrimp I got like five more pieces.
to cook the key. Hope y'all have a good one because we're about to eat a good one. Mm -hmm.